What's up guys, Kyra here with another video. Thanks for tuning in. So today we'll be going over my mini collection of perfumes that I have here. But first I wanted to give a shout out to Dossier for sending over two new fragrances. Guys, before we get into the video, I just wanted to briefly interrupt it and let you guys know that in addition to the 20% off welcome offer that Dossier offers on their site, you can also use my code K10 and get an additional 10% off. That is not an affiliate code. This video was not sponsored. They sent me these fragrances and I'm just letting you know my thoughts on it. So without further ado, back to the video, guys. Thanks so much for your continued support because without it, I wouldn't even be noticeable to anybody like Dossier or any other brand. So thank you guys, K-Squad, always and forever. I have been testing them out for the last couple of weeks. When you open up the box, of course, they give you the scent card that tells you all the information. And when I did my last dossier video, I didn't know what the concentration meant. But I have a little thing that I screenshotted that I came across. on. It helped me understand what the concentration and the fragrances are. I thought it would be helpful to put in this video. The scent that I chose this time around is Narcisco Rodriguez for her. Now, I actually have Narcisco Rodriguez for her, but I know that there's different bottles so this is uh the one that dossier sent me is inspired by the edt edp version i don't know what version this one is but this i really do love this fragrance but when i smelled the version that was inspired with dossier this is their musky rose scent and as they continue to phase out given the samples what you can do is test out the sample first and see if you like it before you actually go ahead and open up the bottle because if you don't like the scent you can always return it to dossier no questions asked you can get a refund you can get an exchange whatever you want to do you let them know within like you know reasonable time i think it's like 30 to 60 days you let them know but the fragrance sample definitely gives you enough time to test it and then you know if you like it or not so that's a good thing with dossier but i know they are going to be phasing out that sample but they're going to keep the same policy if you like the fur if you like the perfume keep it fine if you don't like the fragrance then you can always return it no questions asked Dossier created this Narcisco Rodriguez for her EDP inspired fragrance and when I tell you this one has like it has it smells similar to the one I have but to me there's a little bit more sweetness that that fragrance was missing so I don't know if that's like the EDT version I don't know what I have but to me they smell similar but it is that difference of sweetness which I actually prefer the Dossier one and I will show you that I have been using it because you know, we tell no lies over here on this channel. So you can definitely tell I have been using this scent over the last couple of weeks and I definitely have been enjoying it. They sent me two fragrances. So this one here, um, I think I may have worn this one once so far, so I can't speak on it and I don't have the original scent, but this is the Dossier Floral Honeysuckle Fragrance and it's inspired by Gucci Bloom, which is one that I had smelled a long time ago and I just never added it to my collection. So I was happy to be able to add it through Dossier. As you know, Dossier creates these designer and luxury inspired fragrances that won't bring it won't break the bank, you know what I'm saying? They range anywhere between $29 and $49, depending on, you know, the pop not the popularity, but like the newness of the scent and if it's like a niche fragrance, because they do carry various different brands and stuff that they have plenty of inspired fragrances. So I don't have the Gucci Bloom here to test, but I do like the way this one smells as well. This one, as like I said, I haven't, I only used this one once so far. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it again. The mister is really nice. Of course, I love the packaging because it has that magnetic top. Dossier, you can't go wrong. And I smell it from here. I don't even have to bring my nose to it. So uh, the notes here, if you want to, if you're interested in the notes, there's all the information on the card there for the floral, floral honeysuckle. Oh, I might wear that today. That smells really good. Again, shout out to Dossier for sending those over. I really appreciate it and I will definitely continue i'm thinking about actually getting another one of these trays just for my dossier fragrances and another shout out goes to camilla yvette here on youtube because she made me buy a label maker i don't know where the label maker that i used to have was so i went ahead and ordered the label maker on amazon 
so that I can label my dossier fragrances because I'm not going to keep all these boxes. But as you can see, this one, you'll find out of my favorites. Like this one right here, this is part of the first batch that they sent me, the Floral Pear, which is inspired by Jo Malone, English Pear, and Freesia. This has been my jam. I have a little cocktail that I've been mixing with it. And like I said, you can see the proof is in the pudding, guys. I've definitely been using and enjoying my dossier fragrances so shout out to them much appreciated but let's go ahead and get into my mini collection of fragrances i'm not gonna run through like the um actual scents like the notes and everything but i'll definitely be sure to link everything down below that i can speak about it's just a basic collection video like i'm not going through scents and you know if certain things bring back a story or like a feeling or something like that i'll definitely explain that to you and that's how i'll be describing these scents more than actually giving you like the descriptive and the notes and all that because i think that'll be way too long of a video so let's go ahead and get into these um rollables back here first i have one on the outside this is the valentino pretty new to my collection yeah, because I got my contacts in, so I can't see it, and it's not labeled here. It's at the label down here. If y'all can read it, go ahead, have at it, but I will put it on the screen so you guys know the name of it. But this is the scent that Lady Gaga was um, advertising. She's the face of the scent, and I should have known. I really didn't want to smell like Lady Gaga, but I am glad that I got it in this cute little rollerball. Well, it's not a rollerball. It's actually a travel spray, which I prefer travel sprays over rollerballs. You know, it just makes it that much conven more convenient to spray the scent than anything. Not my favorite. I definitely prefer my, uh, this one is the Donna Born in Roma Valentino fragrance. I definitely prefer this over this one. But I'm not mad at the fact that I have this, um, the travel size spray of that. I'm just going to grab a couple. I actually have some scent bird things up in here. Um, let's see, this one, Flower Bomb, not one of my favorite scents. So I was glad to try it that way. I mean, <laughs> I used up quite a bit of it though. I got the nerve to say I don't like it, but you know, it's not my favorite scent. The way everybody was going crazy over Flower Bomb, really not my favorite scent. This one here, uh, it won't come out, it might be stuck. I haven't used these scent birds in like forever. They actually like left me on red, I guess, because I used to um, work with them and then I guess, you know, no more, but that just left room for dossier, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this this I got in like an Ipsy bag or something. This is the Savage Jessica Parker Born Lovely. Let me tell y'all, this smells mad good, yo. I was very surprised about it. It is a rollerball. I wasn't happy about that, but this smells really good. It's not like an old lady kind of smell. It's more sophisticated and just very light and airy. So I really like that one. Then I have Daisy by Marc Jacobs. These you'll actually see a couple of Marc Jacobs because I had a little set. Let me see if I can grab those out. So these four fragrances are from Marc Jacobs. I have the Daisy. I have Daisy Also Fresh. I have Daisy, no, I think, yeah, Daisy Dot. And then I also have the Daisy Dream. So I really like uh, Marc Jacobs fragrances and I was happy to get this set. As you can see, I used the heck out of Dot, but I used all of them because I really do like these fragrances. The only drawback again is that they are rollables. So that's why I don't reach for them so often, but I do, I'm happy that I got these in my collection. I do like the bottles of the Marc Jacobs fragrances, but at that time I wasn't really collecting fragrances like I started doing again <laughs> in recent times, I should say. But again, happy to have those in my collection. This is Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. This was actually one of my mom's favorite scents. So I actually got this as a free gift from Ulta and I was so happy they, that they did. You'll actually see in the minis they gave a couple of other samples and this I remember being my mom one of my mom's favorite scents it is a rollerball and just smelling this scent oh my god it just brings back so much for me so I definitely will be keeping that one like for a long time this one is Prada Candy not one of my favorite scents and you'll see in an upcoming video I'm going to be um, decluttering some fragrances and <laughs> spoiler alert part of candy the ones that I have will definitely be part of that collection well part of that declutter another rollable and the original one it's just it's not so bad but then they started getting carried away with all the flankers and everything and that's what I have two of the flankers I don't have the original one this one the original smells good but again I hardly reach for rollables then I have the Giorgio Armani C fragrance. Well, as you can see, I have a full size bottle of the Giorgio Armani C, one of my favorite fragrances, but I feel like I've kind of outgrown it now. Like, I don't know, maybe three, four years ago, this was like a good 
nighttime fragrance but i guess with quarantine and everything we wasn't going out and then i smell it now and i don't know nah it still smells good though it has like that caramel scent and it's very like i said it's like a sexy date night kind of vibe so i do love this scent and as you can see i went ahead and bought the full size and i hardly ever used the roller ball but this is something i can actually probably take to work and keep in my drawer just for a day you know those days when you forget to actually spray something maybe i can keep it in my drawer okay and a couple more fragrances in here this was actually this is like a soapy scent i remember this i used to use the mess out of this and there's like nothing in here so i'm gonna get rid of that but this was something that i had got in like an ipsy bag and it's called real tree for her i don't know who made it but it smelled really good and i used it all the way up apparently so this one here is a uh, balenciaga rosa botanica I prefer, what's the other one that they have? It smells good. It's a floral scent, but I prefer the other one. B, it's B, B Balenciaga. I really like that scent. I no longer have that in my collection. I think I had like the same kind of travel size of it as well, but I no longer have it. But this one smells good, nice and floral. Then I have a Polo number three. I used to have all four of them, but I believe I gave a couple away to my friend. And let's see, do I like this one? I feel like I must have must have liked this one if I kept this one in particular, the yellow one. So that's number three of the Polo Sport, I think maybe Polo Sport for women. I'm not sure of the name. This is the this is one of my recent purchases from this year. This is the YSL Libre. Now I'm not a fan of the original Libre. I do have the Libre EDT, and then I also have the intense version which is my favorite then the ysl libre intense is my favorite of the three but i just felt like i had to have this in my collection and it's a good mixer fragrance so you can spray this first and then top it off with something that's a little bit more sweet to tone it down and it really works good for that but i didn't want a full size bottle of it but i still wanted it in my collection so definitely had to get that um and this is also a travel spray which is my fave then Juliet has a gun. You don't even understand how many samples of Juliet has a gun. I have had this one, another spray, which I love. <laughs> and as you can see, I've used plenty of that bottle and I love that. And then this here is just the empty atomizer where if I decide to use any of the minis, then I would um, go ahead and pour the mini into this atomizer just so I, you know, I can be able to spray it. But my homegirl gave this to me. They sell these empty atomizers on and on on Amazon and I'll probably be picking some up just so I can start making use of a lot of these minis so I have 12 rollables slash travel spray fragrances here in my cup there I'll probably go through samples and everything in a separate like I you see that tray back there I have some overflow of minis and I just keep that there and then also I have a drawer down there of other samples that I keep with the packaging that you know, when you order from Sephora, I'm either going to test them out or I'm going to send them with packages when I ship, like, giveaway stuff or people buy stuff from me on Poshmark, things like that. So, before we get into the tray, I want... If you saw the collective haul that I recently put up, you saw that I acquired this $68 Mason Margiela replica set. And so, I want to go ahead and put these into here just so, you know, I don't have it boxes and stuff around so i'll save some space back here we'll put my replica fragrances back here and then i also have this mini kit that i bought eons ago i think i have one of these in some bag some <laughs> purse somewhere but um this is the elizabeth and james nirvana set that they had came out with couple of Christmases back and Nirvana White used to be my holy grail scent like I used to wear this all the time and I'm talking maybe like six years ago when it first came out I know they've been discontinuing it so you can actually find the, the Elizabeth and James fragrances for like dirt cheap nowadays the only thing about the Nirvana and James fragrances you see I have the white here um, as a full size bottle the only thing about these I hate the sprayer the sprayer like really really sucks and let's see if you can see like you see how it just shoots out it's like the spitting at you so that was the only thing about these i can see why they definitely discontinued those but the scent the scent really is amazing i do like the white so i'm gonna put that back here i have the black and then i have the rose and like i said what was the fourth one does it tell me 
Uh, the fourth one in the set was the bourbon, which I really did like. The black is a mix is one that I like to mix with other scents because it's a light scent. Oh, oh wait a minute. No, that don't smell too good. See, when it dries down though, when it dries down, it's not as heavy as it is when you first smell it. That's a strong smell. So I'm gonna add that to the collection. And then, like I said, this one is the rose, which I didn't get too much use out of the rose. You can see it's like pretty much brand new. And that's only cause I'm not a rose kind of person and I'm not a fan of how that smells just off a of first sniff. But again, it's with the dry down with these. So I'm just gonna add that to my collection there. So we went through those. Um, this is one of the newer fragrances that I picked up this year. This is the K. Ali Deja Vu White Flower number 57. Uh, the number 57 at the end means that it took 57 tries to get this scent to be, you know, perfect in their eyes and available for market. So it took them 57 tries. 57 tries. It is, you know, a very floral scent to me. I haven't really gotten too much juice out of it. As you can see, it is fairly new. Um, but I did pick this up during the Sephora VIB sale. And it came as a duo. If you didn't know, Kali is a Huda Beauty brand. So I got this as a set. And it came with one of her lipsticks as well. So that was pretty cool. And I was happy to acquire that. I do want to still try the... The one that's always sold out, I can't remember the name of it, but there is one that I want to try from her line. Now, as I mentioned with the Donna Karen stuff, this is the Donna Karen, um, I think this is Cashmere Mist as well. And this is not a spray, even though the bottle looks just like the full size bottle, but I keep that like, again as sentimental value because my mother really, really loved that fragrance. Oh, I do have another Balenciaga fragrance, but this one is just Balenciaga. I think this is the original Balenciaga. And let's see. I don't really have too many memories with this one. I hardly ever use this. And I always forget that I even have it. So, you know, I just have that here in the collection. Nothing that I use too much. This is uh, Michael Kors Fragrance. I can't remember the name of this one either. But, you know, when you get gift with purchases and stuff like that, I just like to keep these little minis. I think it's so cute. Now, this one. This is the Lancome idol or idol however you say it i actually have this in full size along with the intense version which you'll see that i'm not gonna pull out every bottle that i have a full size of you'll see that when i do the next part of my makeup collection will be the full size bottles but i just wanted to tackle these minis i had three total deluxe sample sizes that look just like this and this is my last one and then you know since then i've went ahead and acquired the full size along with the intense one so this is the fragrance that i absolutely love next up this is the i know what this oh tory birch this is a tory birch fragrance this is love relentlessly and i remember liking this one but again it is a rollerball so i didn't use it too often but it is a nice oh wait do i like it mm, i don't know but the bottle's cute <laughs> again it's a rollerball so i probably wouldn't use it but it's cool to have in my collection. This one, this is one that I really do did love. I think I had, wait, eons ago, I had a full size of this. And this was my jam at one point in time. This is the Coach, I don't know if it's called Poppy. I can't remember the name of this. There's not, it only says Coach on here. But the bottle looks very similar to the full size bottle. And I, even I used up the sample. Like this is one of those samples where it has the hole there. So it's kind of easier than an actual roller ball, but I don't have to be rolling the stupid <laughs> stupid thing all over my body. This one is an OG favorite, and I actually need to um, go ahead and finish this bottle, but I did love that scent. I'm going to talk about these two together. These actually came as a gift with purchase from Ulta when I purchased the Burberry Her Fragrance. It's somewhere here in my collection. And these deluxe sizes don't say the name of it, so I'll definitely put it on the screen so you guys know which one these are. But these are not the original Burberry Her. Burberry Her, I do love. These I haven't tested out too much as of yet. I must have with this one. I just don't remember. But you can see this one here is pretty full. So I just keep those in my collection. I think it's cute and it looks just like the full size of another OG. Like how many bottles of Miss Dior did I go through? At least three. And I'm talking about full size bottles, guys. I love that scent. It kind of ran its course with me. Like I was doing the most with Miss Dior. Like that was all I used to wear. So I figured, 
you know, I didn't need to purchase another bottle. Let me use some of the stuff that I have in my collection first. That was before I started, you know, buying more perfumes like crazy again. But I definitely want to get this deluxe sample and have that in my collection. Just, you know, for sentimental reasons. I absolutely love Miss Dior. That was one of my holy grails. And here's another one that I see. Same kind of situation with the Versace Bright Crystal. Y'all remember when I had the 8 fluid ounce big bright crystal from Versace where the diamond was like this fat like yo oh my gosh I absolutely love Versace bright crystal again it kind of ran its course in my collection I was doing the most and I would wear it all the time to the point where I kind of got tired of it but I definitely wanted to go ahead and get the deluxe size sample into my collection next uh this is a Chloe scent which I have two or did I use one I must have used it Cause I had another one that looked similar to this, but I had um, this I actually purchased as a two-piece set. They had a little mini Chloe set, and obviously I preferred the other scent over this one because I don't even remember what this one smells like. Let's see. Mm, well, you know, it's okay. It reminds me of something that like so many people have worn, and that could be why I never wore this um, fragrance. But the other Chloe was really good. I do have another Chloe fragrance that I recently acquired this year from. Ulta. This is Chloe Nomad, and I haven't gotten a chance to test this one out as of yet at all. So here's a first impressions, guys. I'm going to take it on this finger here and just smell. Smell what we're working with. Oh, this is actually, it smells like it could be like a unisex kind of fragrance, this Chloe Nomad. Like I can see both a male and a female rocking this one, and it doesn't smell bad at all. I like it. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm happy to have that. That was recently acquired from Ulta. I think it was National Fragrance Day and they had like this big five-piece set of fragrances that they were given. So I got some, I got, I only kept, I think, two of those fragrances. I put two to the side for a giveaway for sure. But this is another one that came with that set. This is a Ralph Lauren. I couldn't tell you the name of it. It did have a box. And I'll go ahead and go back to the Instagram posts. See, that's why y'all should be following me on Instagram. So I'm going to insert my IG saw it first post here. Go ahead and follow me over at K's underscore ways so you guys can stay in the know. No, but I did receive this one as well. I haven't even opened this and smelled it. Not so bad. Not bad at all. So this is the... Jennifer Lopez, J Lo Promise for it, scent that came out last year. I did buy a set with the full size bottle and it also came with this mini, but I do like this scent and I need to bust that out and start wearing the full size. Then I have this Nest Wild Poppy. I recently got this actually. This is another rollable, but I do always want to smell the Nest fragrances. I really do like the Nest fragrances. So I was happy to get this and with one of my Sephora orders this year. Here at the front, I have the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I was so happy to get this deluxe size because at the time, I was going to purchase the full size, but I'm glad that I have it in this size. It is a sweeter fragrance, more of a nighttime kind of scent, but it has that sweetness to it that I'm glad, you know, I'm not a sweet smelling kind of girl, as y'all can tell from how I felt about part of candy. I hate, what's that other one? That every, oh, brown, no. Pink Sugar, I hate that fragrance, like hate. I had a sample of it and it gave me a headache. I can't stand sweet fragrances, so I'm happy to have this one in the deluxe size sample. This is something that I would wear, like I said, at night, but this is as sweet as I'll go with a scent. And then the last scent that I have here, this is, if I'm not mistaken, Calvin, no, it's Ralph Lauren, it's Ralph Lauren Romance. Um, I got a sample of that that came at the same time that I, with that National Fragrance Day sampler set that Ulta was given. So I haven't even smelled this one either. So really quickly, let's go ahead and smell that. I don't know. Is this for men? Oh, but it reminds me of something. This reminds me. Now that it, it dried down a little bit. It reminded me of something for a hot second and now I feel like it went away. So I don't know. I'll keep it in my collection for now, but... That is it. Like I said, we just put the moist, the Mason Margiela replica fragrances right here in the front so I can go ahead and start testing those out. And if you want me to come back to you guys with just like a full review on those scents, let me know and I'll be happy to do so. Stay tuned for the next fragrance video, which will most likely be in the upcoming weeks, maybe like two, three weeks. Give me some time, guys. It took me long enough to do this one, okay? <laughs> but I will be decluttering some scents 
from my collection. And if y'all want, let me see if I can give y'all a quick little sneak peek of my fragrance collection, how I have it housed now. So there we go. There is scents, 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 and scents in those three rows. And I want to go ahead and bring it up into the organ. Y'all remember when I purchased that stand here over on Amazon. I showed that in a, you know, a few holes back. I showed you guys that. That tower, that's where I'll be housing all my full-size bottles. So definitely stay tuned to this channel. We're making some progress over here. I am happy the way that this little station is looking. Again, shout out to Dossier for giving me two more fragrances. And I'm going to go ahead and use my label maker that Camille Yvette, she got me buying. So I'm gonna go ahead and label the two that I got. And also the last one, I still have it here in the box on the side. The last one that I had got when I got the first order of two scents from Dossier. And I didn't notice that, but the boxes are different colors. So hmm, that's interesting. I wonder what's the rhyme or reason for that. But yeah, I think I rambled enough in this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, guys. That helps me out greatly and then lets other people know that they should be watching this video as well. Not everybody loves makeup, but we all love to smell good. This is my mini fragrance collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay blessed, guys. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Later, y'all. Yeah.